In this video, we will learn about the application of fixed effects and random effects model along with their complementary commands of some diagnostic tests by using the Stata software. So you can see a data set that we have already imported into Stata and we are going to use this data the dimensions of which are here there are 90 firms and there are about six years for each of the firm of the data now we have the variables as well all these we have done it before now we are going to execute the commands one by one the first command that I'm going to execute is of summarize I'm choosing four variables here and there are more variables however just for the sake of uh, sample I'm using this uh, set of four variables so these are the descriptive statistics for finding out the multicollinearity we use the command of regression first and then we use the command of VIF that is variance inflation factor and when we enter the value the answer is here and uh, it can be interpreted it's less than 10 all these values so it means that there is no serious issue of multicollinearity now we run the random effects model and it is for the sake of judging if there is existence of panel effects that is random or fixed effects or if it is just a pooled data so this was the random effects model after which we will run another command to find out if there are panel effects model existent or not for this we type xt test 0 after the random effects model command if we type xt test 0 we get this statistic which shows that the probability value is less than 0.01 so this means that there exists the possibility of fixed effects or random effects or collectively speaking panel effects in this data. So now we can choose between panel effects, uh, the two versions of the panel effects that is fixed effects or random effects model. For this we have uh, the, the fixed effects uh, command first after executing it we have found the results of the fixed effects model as you can see it is mentioning this and now we run a command to estimate the, to store the estimates so the estimates are stored because we have to compare results with the random effects model and now we are going to run the random effects model when I click enter we get the random effects result and now the sequence of the command is going to be complete when I finally type this command which is houseman fixed effects versus random effects test so this is the command key word is houseman then fixed then space and full stop then comma then space sigma more so when I enter this I get the result of this statistic and it is statistically significant it means that fixed effects model is suitable because if it were statistically signif insignificant then random effects model would have been suitable now for the diagnostics we run the fixed effects model command again and then xt test 3 command which is basically for the heterosodacity check which is the modified wall test and it is statistically significant it means that the null hypothesis has been rejected and there is non-constant variance so there is heterosodacity in the data it is a post estimation test because it is calculated after running the regression so we ran fixed effects model and then we ran this test of heterosodacity now we check for the presence of 
serial correlation so the command is xt serial and then the regression variables as they have been used before so xt serial cross sectional dimension time dimension and the serial correlation in it uh, it is uh, giving us a result which is statistically insignificant it means that null hypothesis is not rejected and there is no serious issue of autocorrelation or serial correlation roughly speaking uh, so now we have uh, this result as well if we have uh, serial correlation we or autocorrelation precisely speaking then we have another command that can help us to refine the results and it is xt reg ar and remaining things are the same only fixed effects uh, appendix uh, appended, uh, appended value is used here ar stands for auto regressive term so we are introducing auto regressive term here and when we enter we get uh, fixed effects model with ar1 disturbances so it includes the auto regressive phenomenon and the results are uh, more reliable as compared to the simple fixed effects model so in this way sim basic uh, random effects and fixed effects model can be easily calculated by using these commands and this was data in the next video we will learn that how we can run two variants of fixed effects and random effects model respectively to cope with the problems of uh, heterosodasticity and autocorrelation. Thank you.